Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having um, a good day. And uh, I have been incredibly busy lately, so I was a little absent, but I was missing you. And today I am uh, reviewing this uh, beautiful book for you. It's a watercolor book, Watercolor Your Way by Sarah Cray. It was my son who gave this to me for my birthday. And of course I cherish this present, but I have a passion for art books, uh, watercolor books. So it was a perfect gift for me. And maybe you would like to have a look and browse it and browse through the pages with uh, me. Okay, let's start. First of all, Sarah Cray is um, a watercolor artist. She, I think she owns Let's Go Make Art, Let's Make Art, which is a website and a YouTube channel where they make plenty of beautiful tutorials. I love her style. I love her personality. She's adorable. And uh, when I was a beginner, I learned a lot uh, through her tutorials. I was attracted to this book because apparently it has um, it is for it is meant for beginners but also for intermediate and advanced uh, watercolor artists and it's always nice I think to get uh, a fresh start to um, have new ideas I, I just love watercolor books so let's go through it and see if uh, it might be interesting for you too contents introduction she is sarah cray i think you know her face and uh, there is this first section for those just starting out there are some pages about uh, materials i usually skip this because honestly materials i think i know them quite well some basic uh, some basic uh, tips and very interesting she puts QR codes with links to her videos. So it's quite interactive uh, about mixing colors, uh, why liquid watercolors, uh, what type of paper would you use. Very, very interesting for beginners because it's very friendly, very user friendly, very explained in a very plain, friendly way, but still never superficial. So it's really nice. Then you have some painting projects, uh, step by step. A weeping willow leaves, uh, using just um, primary colors. Tulips, look at how cute these tulips are. Of course, later we will try a project. Rainbow carrots, I tried those last time uh, when I was trying my medium, in my last video, my medium colors. Very nice colors, by the way. Every time you see a QR code, there's a link to a video. Um, landscape for beginners. It's for beginners, you see it's easy, but it's not banal, it's not uh, ugly. It's super beautiful, I mean, it's super delicate. I think that I might try this project later because even if it's for beginners, uh, the fact that it is non-complicated doesn't mean that it's not attractive. And I think these rolling hills are very attractive. Really beautiful. Very nice because there's a lot of color variation, there's perspective. Very interesting sketch. The hydrangeas. I wish I had this book when I tried my hydrangeas. I didn't have them. Look at how nice they are. Tiger. And this is the beginning of chapter two, which is for intermediate painters. You, by the way, you have the outlines for these drawings. So it's not a drawing class, it's a watercolor class. So you can trace the outlines that are at the end of the book and just concentrate and focus on them, the watercolor skills. So this is for intermediate students. Uh, some further technique elements, more colors. Um, and now the projects. These nice uh, misty mountains. 
a range of mountains. How to paint trees, always useful because trees are difficult. Cone flowers, I am really terrible at flowers. So this is a project that I would, uh, my, maybe, maybe I'll do this one, the cone flowers, they're so pretty. So maybe together as a demo, we'll do this together. Negative space painting, this is a very pretty exercise. Very nice. And the white tiger, how beautiful this is, right? Succulent, very nice, very nice this one. Oh, maybe I'll try this one because really they're all so beautiful. This succulent is beautiful. This chapter three is for advanced students, finessing and enhancing. And here the techniques is more complicated. They give you in-depth uh, in depth suggestions, in-depth tips, uh, more videos about color transition, additional supplies, uh, frequently asked questions and tips for professional, almost professional. Look at the project. Projects are much more complex in this chapter, but um, she explains so well usually that I'm sure the the feasible and the result is so charming. Even the supplies she's giving here, you see, they're less uh, common. She's using quinacridone gold, quinacridone burnt orange, quinacridone coral, quinacridone purple, lunar black and phthalo blue. So colors that are not so common in a beginner palette, but that the most advanced uh, artists will have. I know you, you do, I know you have them because I know how popular these colors are with my followers. <gasps> Beautiful, beautiful this uh, uh, landscape. I want to try this step by step. Magnolias, hummingbird. I'm not so much into painting birds, I don't know why. But these are quite complicated. And number four, finding your style. So some pro tips about finding your voice, finding your style with a final painting project. A rose. My dog is coming here to find me. If you hear someone panting, it's my dog. I'll show it to you. I'll show him. Toto, vieni qui. Okay, ciao Toto. Okay, grazie. Ciao, amore. Ciao. So you have, so you have seen my dog and uh, some of the mess in my studio. And uh, a beautiful atmospheric landscape. This is absolutely wonderful. It's work. Wet in wet. I'm going through all of them, uh, but not today with you. With you, I will just pick one. This is absolutely beautiful. And the butterfly. I'm not very much into insects as well, so I will not paint the butterfly, I think. And here are the outlines, templates that you can trace so you don't, uh, if you not, uh, don't feel so secure about your drawing skill. You can use the outlines, some resources, and about the author. So, this is the book. It's a book that uh, concentrates both on theory, pro tips, and projects. And um, her style is very, very nice, very personal, very unique, I find. And uh, let's go to the interesting part. I think uh, I'd love to try the, um, the succulent. Okay, hope you agree with me that the succulent is interesting. It's a bit more advanced and uh, let's go. I, I have not done it before, so it's really a, a first time. But um, for the moment being, I'll try for the first time with you to check if uh, the book really explains step by step. I think it does.
add uh, personal touch some yellow ochre that was not uh, one of the colors used uh, but that I find uh, as a touch of light so of course uh, when you have an art book you can choose uh, if uh, to follow step by step exactly or add some personal touches and I love adding personal touches. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it actually, I really enjoyed it. It's uh, this succulent, it's not something that I could have done uh, on my own because it's completely out of my comfort zone, but um, it came out nicely and it's always a great feeling when uh, you learn uh, something totally new and uh, away from your comfort zone. That's why I like uh, art books. And uh, so I'm very happy. I'm telling my son that uh, his present was just perfect and that I made a video about it. Let me know if you know Sarah Cray, if you follow her tutorials on YouTube, and uh, if you have um, this book, if you knew it, if, uh, it was in your wish list. Also, if you have other books that uh, you would like me to review, just let me know because I'm always happy to explore new art books. Thanks a lot for having followed this video with me and uh, stay tuned to my channel. I hope I will be slightly more free in the next future. So maybe I will publish more often. Thanks a lot. Ciao, ciao from Elisabetta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.